So you want to play the melodica? Well, I think you've made a great choice. So what's the first step? Well, you need to get a melodica, but which one do you get? There's so many out there. In this video, I'm going to sum up the different types of melodica so you can choose exactly which one is right for you. Hey, Darren here from Melodical World, helping you access your inner creative by bringing you the best tips and tricks for melodica players. This video is the start of a regular series where I'm going to take you through the whole process of learning the melodica. We're going to start from the very beginning and go step by step until you're at the stage where you can confidently play your favourite tunes and read music. So if that's something you'd like to be able to do, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you can join me on this very exciting journey. I remember many years ago when I was considering my first melodica and I'm so glad I went for it. I come from a different musical world, working as a classical pianist and composer, but I dreamt of having my own instrument that I could take anywhere and have fun jamming with people on my travels. Well, I grew to love the melodica so much, I eventually sold my Steinway Grand piano so I could practice melodica full time and pursue my new dream of building the ultimate melodica. Let me start by giving a very quick lesson about how the melodica works because it makes a difference when you're choosing which one you're going to buy. I'll try and make this as easy to follow as possible so let's take a peek inside the instrument. Here hidden away from sight you'll find a set of reeds. Now that might sound like another language to you so let me explain the best I can. Reeds are what make the sound in a melodica. There's one reed for each note. A reed is a tiny metal frame, like a window frame, with a thin stick of metal inside, which we call a tongue. When you blow into the melodica and press a key, the air is automatically directed to the correct reed. And as the air passes through this little window frame, it makes the tongue vibrate. And this vibrating movement actually turns the air into a beautiful melodica tone. Amazing! So now you know, reeds are a hidden but vital part of the melodica and make a big difference to the quality of the instrument. Okay, so most melodicas have either 32 or 37 keys, though you'll find some variations, especially with the vintage models. The keys are laid out exactly like a piano, so if you've already had some piano lessons, you'll have a head start. They're smaller than piano keys and they're much lighter to press. Of course, you can also play it like you'd play a piano by laying it down flat and using a plastic hose. This is great for seeing what you're doing, or when you get a bit better, you can try picking it up and blowing directly into the mouthpiece. Unlike a piano, you do have to do more than just press the key. You have to also blow to make a sound. This is what I love about the melodica. Depending on how you blow, you can completely change the sound. You can blow softly for a gentle tone or more forcefully for a loud tone. And you can also mix it up and shape the sound or make different articulations using your mouth. There are so many expressive possibilities. So how many keys do you need? 32 or 37 or more? Let me just explain the difference between the 37 and 32 key melodicas. The 37 key is the same as a 32 key apart from it has five extra high notes on the right of the keyboard. You'll be able to play most music on a 32 key instrument but occasionally you'll find yourself missing those extra high notes just for some music. If it's really important for you to always have those extra few notes because you don't ever want to be left short, then it is better to go for a 37 key. I'd say go for it if you can afford one, but don't worry if you can't. Many players are very happy with just 32 keys. And because it's got less notes, it's also a little bit smaller, so you can carry it around easier. I'm going to make sure that my tutorials work for both sizes of melodica. So how much should you spend on a melodica? I've identified four main price levels for different styles of melodica. Let's start at level one. These are the cheapest melodicas, which you'll find for under $30 for a 32 key and under $40 for a 37 key. These are a great choice if you're just starting out. I think they're really good value for money. They'll come with a carry case, a hose and a mouthpiece. They'll be in tune though, probably not 
perfectly in tune. This isn't something to worry about too much though with a melodica. It's the nature of these instruments that even when they're perfectly tuned, once you start playing, the reeds get wet and the tuning becomes a bit unpredictable anyway. After a lot of playing, these melodicas will eventually go out of tune. I don't mean hours of playing, probably months or even years depending on how much you play. At this point, you have two options. You can learn how to tune your melodica or you can just go and buy a new one. These level one instruments are by far the most popular choice for melodica players who are just starting out. And they're also popular with some experienced players who want that raw classic melodica sound. The next level is level two and will set you back around $75 to $110. These are instruments like the Yamaha Pianikas and Suzuki Melodians. These melodicas have many similarities to the level ones I've just been describing. They're largely plastic and they come in 32 and 37 key sizes with a case, hose and mouthpiece. But for the extra money, you'll get better quality reeds. They're a step up from the cheaper reeds and they're hand tuned at the factory. Not all always to perfection but normally pretty good. The reeds will also be optimised, what we call set up, so that when you blow the sound begins immediately. This is called a fast attack and it's something you need if you're playing fast or complex music or if you need good control over what you're playing. You could in theory buy a cheaper melodica and set it up yourself and some players do this, it's worth learning how to do it. But if you want the reeds optimised out of the box, this is the level to buy at. Another good reason to buy one of these is that they take much longer to go out of tune than the cheaper ones. If or when they do go out of tune, then it really is time to learn how to tune your own melodica because they're too expensive to just go out and buy another one. Tuning isn't as difficult as it sounds and there'll be a video coming up here on how to do that. For the next level, level three, there's quite a big jump to around five or six hundred dollars. There's not much choice here. You're basically looking at one of the Suzuki Hammond melodicas. These are much bigger instruments with 44 keys. They have a part metal body, a smooth uniform keyboard and an internal microphone with an audio jack. That means you can plug it in directly to your recording device and get a clean signal, even if you're recording in a noisy environment. And the recorded sound has a darker tone and it really does sound quite nice. There's also higher quality reeds which have a smoother, more refined tone. They still go out of tune just like any other melodica, but they do hold their tuning well. And the final level is level four. This is a nearly non-existent level and it exists mainly in myth and the occasional eBay find. These are the rare handmade wooden melodicas which sell for thousands of dollars. There's a few makers around the world, including myself, and there's also older models like the Vibrandonian, which you can find secondhand. But you're probably not looking for one of these if you're a beginner. I hope this helps you decide which melodica to go for. Check the description below for some of my personal suggestions and ask in the comments if there's anything else you need to know. Make sure not to miss the regular tutorial series here on YouTube, which is for complete beginners. There's going to be a lot of lessons and it's going to take you step by step to becoming a great player. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when each lesson comes out. Thanks for checking out this video. To see other videos, click or tap the screen. And remember, you can also connect on Facebook or at the MelodicaWorld.com website. Until next time, Melodica World, helping you achieve your fullest creative potential. See you soon. Mm -hmm.